Hello everyone, in this first image processing uh, video we're going to take a look at some very basic input-output operations so how to uh, read an image, how to display it on the screen and how to uh, save a copy. We'll be working in uh, Jupyter Notebooks uh, so I've here started a, um, a Jupyter Notebook uh, in, the, in the browser and uh, in the same directory as the notebook I have uh, an, an image uh, which is uh, on the disk. So the goal will be to uh, read that image in the notebook, display it on the screen, and save a copy. We'll be using, uh, we'll be needing two uh, Python libraries to do that. The first one is the Scikit image library, which is the, um, the biggest and most used um, image processing library in Python. Uh, there are really uh, lots of uh, very useful uh, tools in there that we'll be using throughout uh, those videos. And uh, we'll also be needing uh, Matplotlib uh, to, uh, to display the, um, the, the images uh, on, the, on the notebook. Um, so both of those libraries have very uh, comprehensive documentation, uh, especially Scikit image uh, with a uh, with very detailed uh, user guide on all of the things that you can do uh, with it. So let's get started. Um, the first thing that we need is to import the, the different uh, methods that we need uh, and modules that we need from the libraries. So from the uh, scikit image library, we'll be using the IO module, so for input output, and we'll need to import the uh, image read, show, and save uh, methods. And uh, with that, we can uh, simply uh, read an image from the disk with the uh, inbreed method, and we can read the, uh, um, the creators.jpg file, so the file that we have uh, here. So this will put the, um, the image inside a uh, NumPy array, so we can display here the content of the array. We can see that we have all of the numbers representing the different um, uh, values of the pixels uh, of the image. So this is not a very uh, useful way of displaying an image. So we'll be using uh, imshow to, uh, to display it. And if we just put uh, right now um, imshow of the image, uh, we will not see the image for the, the, the simple reason that we have um, not told Jupyter Notebook yet um, which kind of environment we want to use to, uh, to, to display the, the, the images. So we have two main uh, options, which we can access using the uh, the here special command um, with the percentage sign, so matplotlib, and the first one is to use matplotlib inline. If we do that, it will uh, just uh, display the um, the figure uh, um, right there uh, in the in the page um, like that. And the other possibility is to use uh, matplotlib notebook, and with matplotlib notebook, and I will just have to run it twice. Um, this will give us a, a slightly uh, more interactive environment where we can uh, also uh, zoom, move inside the image, um, or go back uh, here. So we just have, and also we can uh, rescale, uh, resize the image uh, in the in the in the page. So this is often uh, a more useful. Um, way of, of displaying the images. Uh, it's just that if we are doing uh, large notebooks with a lot of, of plots and images in it, uh, it can consume a lot of uh, resources. So if we use the notebook, we m when we are finished with, with an image, we may need to uh, sometimes uh, stop the interaction to uh, basically put it back, uh, this, this image, as, a, as an inline uh, plot. Um, we may also want to, to have uh, a bit more control on the, on the plot uh, itself. So for instance, we, uh, we could remove the, um, the axis here and maybe add um, a title. So if you want to do that, we'll need to uh, import uh, from the uh, matplotlib library uh, the pyplot module. And from there, we can explicitly start a figure uh, inside the, uh, the, the, the the page here, so in the, in the environment. Uh, and once we've started a figure, we can, for instance, remove the axis by using the axis off command. We can add a title. And uh, we can uh, explicitly also uh, call the plt.show method 
to uh, to say that we are finished uh, with this figure that we can uh, display it now uh, on the screen. And if we do that, you can see that we have removed the uh, the axis and added the title. And again, since we've restarted the figure, it is now uh, once again interactive. We can rescale it however we want, zoom on some part, for instance, and then stop the interaction, and we have our image uh, as we want it inside the um, the the notebook. Um, now, if you want to save the image, we can use the imsave the imsave uh, method, and the imsave method will take two arguments. The first one is the uh, new name of the file, so the new file name, sorry, the the the, the, the name of the copy, and uh, then the uh, the array that we want to save as an image. So this will not display anything. Um, on the screen, but I can check here. No, I cannot do this like this. I can check here that uh, if I if I um, use the new uh, fi uh, file, the new name for the file, I can also display it uh, on the screen. So this is it for uh, the very basic uh, operations. And in the next video, we'll uh, see uh, what we can do uh, with those images once we've loaded them into uh, an array.